Hello, and welcome to the Rising Stars presentation on Software Defined Radio, or SDR. My name is Phil Batista, call sign Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X-Ray. Our agenda today will start with a speaker introduction, topic introduction, followed by demonstrations of two different types of SDRs. At the end of the presentation, there will be some useful links and my contact information to answer any questions you may have on the topic. Again, my name is Phil Batista with the Federal Communication or FCC call sign of Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X-Ray. I am an amateur extra class radio operator. As a member of the Amateur Radio Emergency Services or ARIES in Travis County, Texas, where I live, I serve as an Assistant Emergency Coordinator or AEC with the duty assignment of the Emergency Operations Center at the Combined Transportation Emergency and Communication Center in Austin, Texas, our state's capital. As an officer, I provide weekly training during our voice nets each Sunday evening over the air. At the preceding Rising Stars Conference in January 2020, we held a pre-conference activity entitled the Zombie Apocalypse Workshop in Las Vegas, Nevada. The purpose of the workshop was to introduce attendees to the concept of emergency communications. Our agenda included an introduction to the International Telecommunications Union or ITU phonetic alphabet, where we generated unique identifiers for each attendee, similar in structure to the FCC call signs. We held an eyeball to eyeball QSO or meet your fellow zombies, where attendees use their identifier to verbally exchange information in person around the room. We held a simulated emergency net. We used our FCC assigned special event call sign of November Zero Charlie to make radio contacts using local repeaters in Las Vegas to as far away as Alaska. We set up an HF listening station and heard stations in South America. We presented uses for radio communication and held a volunteer examination or VE test session the day following the workshop. The results from the VE session produced 11 new technician class operators, three new general class operators, and two new extra class operators for a total of 16 new or upgraded FCC licenses for attendees all under the age of 30. At the top of the list for the following zombie apocalypse workshop was software defined radio or SDR. An SDR is defined as a communication system using software to perform the functions of the radio as opposed to discrete hardware components. The IEEE defines an SDR as a radio in which some or all of the physical layer functions are software defined. Comparing an SDR to a conventional transceiver is like comparing a physical computer to a virtual machine in which the functionality can be dynamically controlled without physical modification. A conventional radio consists mostly of discrete hardware with external controls and output, where an SDR uses software running on a general purpose hardware platform to provide the same functionality as the discrete hardware for modulation and conversion of signals to and from analog and digital sources and outputs. Shown here is a simplified block diagram for the ideal software defined radio, achievable in theory, but not in practice. In actuality, a practical SDR requires additional components, such as filters and amplifiers, as shown in this expanded block diagram. Looking at the front panel of a traditional transceiver, 
we see an assorted array of discrete buttons, knobs, switches, and single purpose displays for such things as the current frequency selection and signal strength. The front panel of an SDR has no such buttons, dials, switches, meters, or displays. The controls and outputs of an SDR are performed and displayed using a browser window from a computer or tablet as shown on the left. There are specifically designed controllers that are Wi-Fi enabled which can perform the same functions as the browser window and computer such as the one shown on the right. Comparing a, trans, a traditional transceiver on the left to an SDR on the right, we can see the drastic differences in physical appearance. The controls of an SDR, as well as the signals received over the selected spectrum, are shown as displayed in the window of the computer or tablet. Note that multiple signals can be displayed across the selected spectrum of frequencies as well as the historic trace of reception over time. A web-based SDR used for receive only is shown here. Similar to the SDR transceiver, it shows received signals over time in the selected frequency spectrum. Let's log in to a web-based SDR receiver and see what we can hear. Here we see a web-based SDR, and there's a signal being received here at 14 megahertz and 14.2115 megahertz. Let's listen and see what's being transmitted. And it's called Edmund Fitzgerald Crewman Discovered. Oh yeah, that's eerie, man, that is... Uh... So what we saw was basically one side of a conversation here on this web-based SDR. Let's now take a look and go over to the demo for our transceiver. Shown here is a Flex 6300 that's based here in Austin, Texas. Let's take a look at this transmission here that's on 14207. CQ contest, CQ contest, Whiskey Delta 6, Toronto. CQ contest, CQ contest, Whiskey Delta 6, Toronto. What we hear is Whiskey Delta 6 in Toronto, Canada. There is currently a radio contest called a CQ contest. Since our radio appears to be tuned for this frequency, let's go ahead and see if we can make contact. Delta 6 Tango, Whiskey Denmark 6 Tokyo. Thank you, Process. Thank you, anyone, anywhere. Whiskey Delta 6 Tango, Whiskey Denmark 6 Tokyo. Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X ray. Delta 6 Toronto. Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X-Ray. Delta 6 Toronto. Yeah, Mike, uniform 59585. Oh, whiskey Delta 6 Tango, anyone anywhere for the RHP contest. Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X-Ray. Seven Victor Echo, is that right? It was an Alpha Alpha Seven, is that right? 
This is Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X-ray. Alpha Alpha 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Echo X-ray. Alpha 5 Echo X-ray. Is that right? 5-9. QSL, uh, you are 5-9 in Austin, Texas. Again, this is Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X-ray. Your call sign one more time. Echo X-ray, Echo X-ray, Alpha Alpha 5 Echo as an extra X-ray, Alpha Alpha 5 Echo X-ray, QSL? Seventy-three. Good luck in the contest. Thanks for the QSO. Eighteen Delta Six Tango. You are dead. So what we just saw is uh, Whiskey Six Delta Tango in uh, this contest. So let's go ahead and get back to our uh, slides here for just a moment. Okay, so that was a demonstration of our Flex 6300 software-defined radio in transmit mode. So we were able to receive a radio station that was involved in a contest, a CQ contest. Shown on the screen is the web SDR link that I used to pull up a couple of the SDRs that were demonstrated here that you saw on my web browser. There is also a link to Flex Radio, headquartered here in Austin, Texas, and the wiki for software-defined radio. My contact information is shown here. My email address is kilo golf 5 uniform foxtrot echo at gmail.com, kg5ufe at gmail.com. You can also find my profile on amateur radio at the QRZ page listed above. Thank you for attending this session on Software Defined Radio, and don't forget to register for the upcoming IEEE Rising Stars Conference for 2021 at the URL shown on this page.